hello everyone today i'm gonna show you how easily you can deploy your api or a backend server in versal now i have a simple project which i created using the node.js as you see there's only a few single dependency here which that uh, of the express to creating the route and also having the stripe for the payment authentication and typically i have only few routes as you see i have five routes here and all the routes i'm injecting here within this uh, index.mjs mgs because i use the modular js so as you see all i am funneling to just input with that five router if i click on the categories as you see i can go through and get all the categories if i click on the products all router like those routers are the get routers so i can get so now as you see here all the products are available here also i can go with a simple parameter of that with that like I can grab that single product with that particular ID. If I just put some of the wrong ID, as you see, no product is available with this ID. So I can get the response and I can get the data. So how easily we can just interact that one and can implement that. Now I'm running it here in the local host, right? The setup is coming from there by which in the 8000 port I'm running from my local server here in that Stripe checkout is that uh, it's a post route as i'm hitting that with that for the payment authentication that's why i cannot get from there so it's a post route but other routes as the highlights and blocks all are getting as like the get routes so how we can deploy that now there is another server is there which i deployed in my uh, like the versal and i'm having that particular route to have a distribution on that and the same parameter same alignment going to happen here if we just go with that id you can see you can grab the single one and also if you're putting something messing around you see all are working fine and how you can deploy that one if you want to do it by yourself and there is a simple way to do it first you need to connect your project with any of that repository and you need to deploy that your code entire code on that repository first of all let's just put that git status as you see all are updated not updated because there is a branch i created and i just uh modify one of the package file so as you see that's my branch here admin yt here i have all the code which i push here if you're having problem just i'm gonna append how to deploy the code uh, uh, like push the code in github you can better to watch and know about a bit and if you're annoying that one that you can just go through and start the other process as i change to project uh, to file from here i'm gonna just git add dot and also i'm gonna just git commit which going to be um and update it okay so i'm gonna make that git push and now before and trying like deploying in the versal you need to configure one more parameter as you see in that project root you need to get one file named versal.json that's a mandatory file if you doesn't have that file your code it that your project will not be deployed in versal so you must be having that when you are deploying the api especially the route setup as you see here you need to just specify the version and the builds so i'm running with it's just the getting the entry point i'm running the project from that index.mgs so it's just uh, configuring here and i'm running that versal node and that's it just passing that entry point and the distribution from which entry point it gonna hold the project so these things be careful you also need to uh, push that on that versal.json so you need to be here this one within your repo otherwise it will not work so how we can deploy it so to deploy any of the project as you see you need to have one versal account and uh, from the dashboard as you see in the right side there is a add new button click add new and i will just go with that new uh, project so there is a several way you can deploy the project in Versal. The fastest way and the best way from the Versal rec uh, recommendation is that uh, pushing that one up from the GitHub. Okay, now here you can see that my that entire this uh, GitHub repo is already linked from here, so I can get my you can just get linked from that at GitHub account. You can switch Git provider also. But now this is the repo i have that admin yt which is available here so i need to import that one in my within my project then after that as you see i'll just go with the default as i already deployed one from here that's why the admin yt is already configured so this the one can be accessible or i can just make that two 
that will also work so that configuration here i will not touch let's just go with that and start deploying so now when you are entering on the deploying horizon you need to be a uh, very cautious about what's happening under the hood because if you are missing anything if there is any error it will just show you by where you are facing that error and how you are injecting as you see it's a very few simple dependency traffically if you are deploying in the client side application it's getting a long time because it's installing lots of dependencies and there is lots of uh, routing setup which need to combine but here it's very simple as you see it's deployed so we're gonna visit soon okay it's deployed so let's continue to dashboard and let's see if we are receiving our uh that a particular setup which we are having here with a particular url where we can uh, share that one yes that's available here now just give it a time to roll that one okay it's available now what is gonna happen if you are sharing that link anybody can hit that link and they can get the data okay let us try that in our postman so as you see let's just get the home route so i will just copy that route and here i will just get a new or uh, with the http one because i'm gonna make a request from there okay that's the get request if i just paste my link and enter hits let's see if i will be able to get some product or not you see it's sending the request let's just uh let's just uh, give it the time to render that okay now you can see i the product is loaded which are having the 14 products and you can get through the preview go with the pretty go with the row you can see the product is coming here and also if i passing with that particular id 2001 let's see if i hit on that is uh passing any product or not yeah single id product is available if i put some random id which product is not available you see new product is available with this id you can pass on one status which can be written as failed so that uh, doesn't have an issue with that so now as you see our link is available so now we can go and easily uh, work with that and for that one as you see as uh, i told you that's just uh, the checkout responses which is a post request if you just want to go and test that one it will just come up with a separate error which uh, can be uh, pushing through it with the limitation that how the what kind of credential we need to require so it's a post method okay let's hit on that on the checkout you see error because there is uh, so many things which you need to pass with that so it will not uh, reveal whatever the things is available or not so with that parameters we can now get our api with the real world so you can just go through and get the products and get the highest things so everything is going to work so that is very simple to deploy it versal so now if you want to also learn about more deploying of uh, ideas where you can deploy in the node.js application let me know in the comments below and also please like the video and subscribe the channel and let me know which one you are preferring then i'm gonna make a video and share it with you we'll see you next video